A Denver 7 viewer reached out to Denver 7 reporter Jennifer Kowaleski for answers about what's behind new traffic cameras in Lakewood. Well, what she found out, we think drivers everywhere can appreciate. We're at the intersection of Wadsworth and Jefferson Avenue. These are the cameras we're talking about. And no, they're not used for facial recognition like a viewer thought. They're actually used to improve traffic, especially late at night. They're not red light cameras or halo cams. So what are these cameras in Lakewood? A Denver 7 viewer sent us this tweet concerned their facial recognition cameras. We went to Lakewood traffic engineers for the truth. That's not what we use them for at all. We just do cars. Our cameras aren't even good enough to get a license plate. Traffic engineer David Basket says they help improve traffic flows. This is what the camera sees. The cameras also detect cars to give drivers more green lights. If we know that there are more vehicles coming, you can extend the cycle so that they'll get a green light. These advanced detection cameras are also used late at night to prevent accidents. That does really help late at night with red light running when maybe the driver is impaired, something like that. You want to be able to get them safely through the intersection. You can also say goodbye to waiting forever for traffic signals to change when there are no other cars on the road. You can let intersections operate free, it's called, so it just responds to vehicle detections. So nobody has to stay for a very long time. Lakewood already has 14 of these cameras. They replace older technology known as pavement detection, where squares in the road detect cars coming up to an intersection. Basket says that technology breaks a lot and isn't as effective as these cameras that use radar. We will definitely be uh, putting them in when they're warranted. Also, so you know, police do have access to these cameras, but only if there's a fatal accident or something criminal happens out here. Now, if you have a question you want answered, send me an email or tweet. I'm Jennifer Kowaleski for Denver 7. Jen, and we checked, and Fort Collins has similar radar cameras, and each one costs a couple thousand dollars. Take a look.